Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. Everywhere we look around us, we can see God's beauty. We can see it in the mountains. We can see it in the valleys. We can see it in the ocean. We can see it uh, wherever we look. We see God's beautiful creation. And yet God's most beautiful creation is mankind. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement today comes from Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. You know, as I think of these words today, I think how often maybe we get frustrated or, or struggling or whatever with our job. Um, oftentimes we have bosses and bosses are human and bosses make mistakes and sometimes bosses just aren't the best bosses to have and it's so easy to get frustrated. Sometimes it's not necessarily our bosses, maybe it's the people we work with or or the, the what we're actually doing that brings frustration to us. But Paul is reminding the Colossians here, really reminding us the fact that we are working for the Lord in whatever he does. We believe as Christians that God has given us our talents, that God has given us the education we have, that God has given us wisdom to be able to do the tasks that are before us, and therefore we're serving him. When we go off to work, uh, whether we're working at a high corporate office or whether we're working um, at, as, a, as a bag boy at, at the neighborhood grocery store, we are serving God. And God expects us to serve him. And God expects us that we're going to do our best. It's much easier to have a great attitude when we know we're doing it for God than we're doing it for mankind because mankind fails us. We don't know what's around the corner, but God does. And if God has you in this situation right now, if, if this is the door God has opened for you, he's got better doors to come. Sometimes I think it's a matter of showing God that we're faithful with what he gives us now before he gives us more. We serve an awesome God who wants to bless us, who wants us to, to have and to enjoy this life. Uh, but at the same time, God wants to use us exactly where we're at. So instead of bemoaning or complaining or doing about being somewhere else, let's enjoy the job that God has given us today. One of the, God, the jobs that God has given us today is interacting with people. Now, it's not a paid job. Uh, it's not even always a fun job, uh, but it is part of life. So I want to encourage you today as you're out interacting with people, consider it as serving the Lord. When we talk with people, when we love on people, when we give ourselves over to people, let's all do it as if we're serving the Lord himself. God is an awesome God, and God will bless you for it. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the reminder, Lord, that everything we do, we're doing for you. It may directly affect uh, our brothers and sisters or, or part of mankind, but ultimately we're doing it for you. And so, Lord, when we're dealing with that hard boss or, or those hard co-workers or even the family members, it may be tough. Father, may we always have your perspective that we're serving you. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives. Just allow us, Lord, to be used of you to bring yourself glory. Father, please be with those who need a special touch today. There's so many out there around us who are hurting physically. Uh, there's so many who are hurting uh, mentally. There's so many, Lord, who are hurting spiritually. Uh, Father, just so many struggles out there. But Father, we pray that you would answer requests, that you would meet the needs of people in such a way that they would give you praise, that they would come to know you and your kingdom would grow. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. We give you great praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants to bless you. Uh, honor God by serving him with whomever you come in contact with today or whatever you do. Uh, and have a great day. We love you. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.